I said to take care. Did I not say to take care? Winfred, bear them. You look dour for festival goers. I'm not dour, I'm furious. My fool of a son released the cattle we were raising for the feast. Just let them go. You let them go? Why? Would you believe it's because I am a lone wolf who says, damn the rules? Would you believe I took them to the river for one last graze, but one of the cows looked at me strangely, and I got scared? <laughs> that I believe. Do you want me to get them back for you? Take bear them with you. Perhaps you can protect him from the terrifying cattle. Go on, love. Go with Avel. Very well. <clears throat> Where were you when the cow frightened you? Uh, across the river. That away. I'm not genuinely afraid of cattle, but the look in this one's eyes, I thought it might hurt me. They're big cows. Perhaps this is an opportunity to overcome that fear you claim not to possess. This is where it happened. They shouldn't be too far. Good. Let's begin tracking. Stretch your wings, Sunan. There's one. What do you say we turn this into a hunt? A quicker slaughter and fresh meat for the feast. All right. But I won't get too close. <laughs> that look easy because it was now we collect them because it was now we because it was now we collect the meat you seem a young man who has never hunted strange for the son of farmers Maida said the same thing she likes to go on hunts for rabbits and pheasants I actually offered to help what did she say to that she laughed. When I told her I was serious, she said she would be happy for the company. But I declined. Show me. Look there, Bertham. Another cow. And your first lesson. <laughs> All right. Show me. I understand this is daunting. Even domesticated creatures possess a worthy strength. And so, even in slaughtering and eating them, you must show them respect. I do not begrudge you your fear. Thank you. I begrudge myself quite a bit. I feel quite foolish. Bertha, tell me more about Maida. You're quite taken with her. Oh, yes. She's a remarkable person. <laughs> Always makes me laugh. <laughs> And an amazing hunter. She's just so brave, skilled, strong, and, you know, pretty, too. You're fond of her. Imagine how she feels, huh? Fancied by a silly boy who's afraid of cows. Show me what lies ahead. I am no expert tracker, but even watching Sunan grants me insight. Seeing the way she follows trails. Trails? Well, I once stepped in manure and left my own prints through the house. My father was furious, and he did find me. <laughs> you see, tracking is in your blood. Now, learn to wield the bow. Arrow rests on the string. Pull it back. Breathe. Aim and release. 
You make a challenging thing sound simple. I hope you aren't too annoyed that you need to look after me today. And clean up my mess. If anything, this is more relaxing a day than I have enjoyed in recent memory. What do you see, Sunan? Well done. You are now a tracker. Perhaps that can be your role. You track. Made the shoots. Bertham. Oh my goodness. Did you see that, Eivor? It took me a moment to believe it. Fine work, Kaufira. You have overcome your enemy. Please don't make that my new nickname. Ah, I will think on it. Thank you, Eivor. Oh, this part is tougher than I thought. Maida won't believe I've done this. Nor will my mother. Bertham, were you really scared by a cow? That seems unlikely for a farmer's boy. Well, if I tell you what really happened, will you tell anyone? Never. It's... It's to do with Maida. She's always saying I'm so soft and sweet and kind and lovely. All good things. It's terrible. Who wants sweetness? I want to be brave and manly. I thought if I let the animals go, I could hunt them myself and show her I was a good provider and strong. Then I took out my bow and the cow did look at me and I did get frightened. So that part isn't entirely false. There's nothing wrong with having a good heart. I'm sure Maida is fond of you because you're a kind young man. Not in spite of it. Thank you, Eivor. I hope you're right. But all the same, I do intend to brag. Just a little. I feared asking this of Maida. But... Do you ever feel sorry for the creatures? That you must hurt them so? I do not seek to cause them suffering. I aim for the heart. But it might be a quick death. I can't imagine being so skilled. Maida is much the same way. One shot, rabbit dead. Clean. Did you manage not to hurt yourself? Winfrith, I give you your son, Bertham, the Beast Slayer. <gasps> the Beast Slayer! Oh, you should have seen me out there, Mother. I was a terror with an arrow. But I should go. Go? Where? I want to show Maida while the blood is still fresh. See you at the feast. Well, Eivor? Thank you. Whatever you did out there, I'm pleased for it.
mouse. How are you, my boy? You mad dog! We'll rip out your throat! friend. Should make the area safer for a time. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Sounds coming from that old church.
Someone there. Scraps and rags left for the rats. Ugh, hard as stone. The stench is ripe. You! How dare you! Crowland's throne belongs only to the one true king of Briars. If you have a problem with me, show yourself. We away the Lord of Crowland, trespasser. Leave or die. I'm not going anywhere until you cowards show your poxy faces. Insolent spirit! Kill this usurper! Crowland is ours, Kerr! Strange dogs. Let's empty this poor back. <laughs> Don't let this one escape! No one defiles this one! The goes unpunished! Make him eat all the art part again! Don't let this one escape! No one defiles this sacred throne and goes unpunished! Feel stronger already. Ugh. <sighs> 
Sunan, guide me. Let's go hooded here. Tell the gods you need that Eivor sends you. I think it up. We're off. Let the sail out. Sing, my ravens. Continue later. We'll pick up from there. with you. Huh? <laughs> 
Regret that she